Sorry. I'm in my happy place right now. Did you want me to host this television show? Melissa's here from the Arizona Humane Society. It's my last day, and I asked our producer, Allie Valley. And I was joking. I said, all I want on my last day, just bring me a kitten. And she did. My wish came true. Thank you, Allie Valley, who, by the way, is an incredible, incredible producer. And thank you for doing that for me. I could not be happier. And we're going to talk about something that I've always wished and wanted for, a cat that you can put on a leash. By the way, this is Squeaky. And Squeaky is, let me be clear, Squeaky is available for adoption. Do you want to look at the, do you want to look at the camera? This is a good boy. And this guy, he had a, he needed a little foster love because Melissa was telling me he came in with a little bit of an injury. Will you give us his backstory? Yeah, Squeaky came in uh, through our field department, so our emergency animal medical technicians got brought him in. He actually had trauma to his face and was reported to cough up some blood on no. arrival to our shelter. No, Squeaky. So our second chance animal trauma hospital did take good care of him, and then after treatment, he went off to our foster home, and he spent a few weeks in foster getting some TLC and then he was all ready for adoption. Do you think there's any way, if I go to this camera, <laughs> can you get it, can you hear Squeaky purring? Can you get, how am I, <laughs> am I in a good place? Can you get that? This little man is in a scary environment under the lights and look at what a wonderful kitty he is purring. <laughs> okay, wait, shh, can you hear it? Oh, I love him. Okay, Melissa, should I put him down and see if he can walk on a leash? We can give it a shot. He might be a little nervous. He did have a run around a little bit earlier yeah. today. Yeah, Squeaky escaped. Okay, but so he if, might just chill. <laughs> so if you have a kitten, can you train it to walk on a leash? You can. And the biggest thing that I'll, I'd say all foster or adopters should know <laughs> um, is that you want to make it fun and you want to make it playful for the cats. Because cats are all about, oh. oop, there we go, Roll up. all Roll about up. positive Roll reinforcement. Up. And if you use Roll treats, up. you use toys, you use love, which is touch, affection, then you're really going to get your cats to really want to play. Because nobody wants to do something they don't like. So if we make it really fun for them, then they're going to like to play and they're going to have fun. Right now, Squeaky's favorite thing is love sums. And so he Ooh. will work for these. He got a little snack earlier when oh. he was... Um, when he was sitting with me and that really got him purring and working. Do you want a snack? <laughs> well, you, we don't want to overfeed you. Do you have any good tips for people who are traveling with cats? Yes, get your cats ready for traveling. So the first thing that I always tell any of my cat parents is that you have to get them ready to be in a crate. Our cats aren't used to it, unlike our dogs who go out every single day. Our cats stay in home, they're in home kitty cats. And so you need to get them crate trained essentially. You want to feed them in their crate, you want to have the crate out all the time, you want to play in that crate and make sure that is a comfortable home for them. After that, um, you just get them used to the car ride and make that happy and special. You can use things such as Feel Away, which is a pheromone spray um, that kind of simulates the calming pheromone of a nursing mother. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Do they have that for humans? I feel like my 14 year old <laughs> needs that. What do you call that spray? Feel Away. Feel Away. Yes. And then practice because most of us, mm -hmm. our cats aren't in crates and so they'll be like, what the heck's going on? Exactly. And this is not a drill. So you need to practice it first yes. before you're on like a four hour car ride with a little munchkin like this. Squeaky, look at, oh, okay. Because I, I made the mistake when I was graduated college and was moving to LA with my cat. I was just having my cat freewheeling in the car. <laughs> Not good, I'm surprised I still have two eyes. <laughs> Don't do that, right? Yeah, don't do that. You definitely want to keep them in the crate. Even if they are harness trained, keep them inside the crate in the car because that is their safety net as well. So if you have to do a short stop, uh, gosh forbid, it keeps them safe because you can actually put the seatbelt in around their crate and hook them into the seat like a, a baby seat, essentially. That is such a great idea. Melissa Graham, Arizona Humane Society, says so right, so right there on her shirt. She's kind enough to bring in Kitty. And I know it's kitten season. Before we let you go, 
Um, can you tell us about the needs of the Arizona Humane Society? Yes, the needs right now is that we have so many kittens and puppies who are looking for foster homes. I took home free five-week-olds right now to help out with our capacity. But we also have a special happening where we have all of our animals, Squeaky included, our 50% off thanks to Mars Pet Care over this weekend. So please adopt, bring into your home, or have a temporary animal in your home as well through fostering. Thank you so much. Melissa coming up after the break. Hey, can you look at the prompter? We are heading out to Glendale for a month.